but I did direct mail. And every time I quit direct, every time I stopped the direct mail because I had a few deals I was working, the, the failure rate is incredible. I mean, it drops automatically and my sales funnel just disappeared completely. And then I went the other way and every time I made $500 on a house or $1,000 or $50,000, I spent it on marketing. And that's when our company started really growing. And then when my son came in, he expanded it even more. He expanded it into a big, a big digital footprint. And um, I don't think, I don't think there's a medium out there that we don't play in. We do not buy radio ads, and we do not buy TV ads because they're extraordinarily expensive. They're very productive, but it takes a lot of, it takes a large investment up front to make them work. But as far as choosing the area, the first thing I would do is choose an area that you know you can get to. Choose an area that meets your criteria, and then mine that mine that area. Thank you. What? You got something? Yeah. Uh, Steve had shared what kind of held him back when he was starting out, and then Robert did the same. I wanted to kind of share something that, that kind of rounds out this entire subject, which was having a mind right, mindset. So when, when I first started, you know, I didn't go very long before we did our first deal. I guess I didn't have that hang up. But when we first started, you know, we started as a wholesaling company because I thought that's all I could do. Um, with no money, no credit, blah, blah, blah. Um, wholesaling seemed like the only thing we could do. So we wholesaled some houses and what I realized was a lot of people were buying these houses with private money. And they didn't have any money either, basically. And I thought, well, shoot, 